Images are arguably the first thing that visitors notice on a site. Using interesting content is great, but it will only go as far as the quality of the image. To ensure that your images look their best, it's key to format them correctly. Let's take a look at best practices for image formatting. To start, let's choose an image we want to add to our site and check its details. Squarespace provides guidelines we'll want to follow before uploading this image. First off, to make file names as web-friendly as possible, only use lowercase letters, numbers, underscores, and hyphens. We'll title this image file world-globes, all lowercase letters, and we'll use a hyphen instead of a space. The image should be saved in JPEG, GIF, or PNG format only. We'll save this image as a JPEG file. While there is a 20 megabyte limit on all images, for best results, we use image files of less than 500 kilobytes. We recommend uploading images at a width of 1,500 pixels for most areas of your site. To make sure the image is ready, we'll adjust the dimensions to reflect the 1,500 pixel width suggestion. Don't worry about the image height, as our system resizes this to preserve the aspect ratio. To ensure sharp image resolution, focus on PPI, or pixels per inch, rather than DPI, or dots per inch. DPI affects printing quality, but pixels affect web display quality. You're free to save at a higher resolution, but keep in mind that the higher the resolution, the larger the file size and loading time. Save the image in RGB color mode, which is a web safe format. CMYK is a print color mode and won't render in most browsers, so we'll want to avoid that. Once we upload the image, Squarespace will create six variations of it to ensure perfect display on any screen size. Logo images follow the same formatting guidelines as we've covered. Just remember, it's always best to upload a larger image and then decrease the size within the site's style editor. Each template treats the logos differently, so you may notice this looks a bit different on your end. Now let's move on to adding a favicon. A favicon is a small image that displays next to page titles on some browser tabs and bookmark folders. Adding a favicon will help your site stand out and creates a more cohesive branding. The recommended file dimensions for a favicon are 100 by 100 to 300 by 300 pixels. Ensure the image is saved as an ICO or a PNG file. However, Internet Explorer cannot display a PNG file as a favicon, in case you want to take that into consideration. By following these guidelines, your images are sure to display their best. Now that we've formatted our images, let's move on to adding them to our site. 